Hi, welcome to one of our training videos for the Garmin eTrex SE. This is actually an extract from one of our videos that we have in what we call the online resource. The online resource is the GPS training online training course that you can access 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's packed full of videos. There's well over 20, 30 videos about how to use the Garmin eTrex SE. And this is the ones that you get free. You can sign up for a free option, but alternatively you can sign up for a premium option. And with that, you get access to all the training videos. We've actually also got an offer in place that if you get a discount code from the uh, link below, you actually also get email support as well as access to the training videos. So as you work through those videos, if you have this, what we call a bronze support package, if you have any questions about how you use Garmin eTrex SE, you also have access to our tech team who could help you through those problems. I very much hope you enjoy the video and if you can support us here at GPS Training, it would always be very much appreciated. Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're gonna look at changing data box fields and layouts to what you see on things like the trip computer when you're navigating a track or recording an activity or navigating a route on your eTrex SE. You have lots of data that is default is set on the trip computer. You can actually change what you see in those data boxes. You can also add data boxes to the compass screen and the top of the map screen as well. So we'll show you how to do that at the same time. Now the full list of what you can have in these data boxes is found in a summary on the full manual. So at the bottom of this modular one for the eTrex SE, we do have a link to download the full Garmin eTrex SE manual and you will find an addendum in there where it's got a full list of what all the options are to put in the data box fields and what they actually mean. So we're just gonna take a look at that now. So whenever you're navigating something on the unit or you're recording an activity, it's the tracking screens that you're going to see. So I've actually turned the unit on and at the very top I can see the option tracking. So if I press the OK button to go into tracking, the first screen is what we'd call the map screen. We can't physically see a map, but if we had a course loaded to navigate with, we'd see a black line on the screen to follow. So we can add some data at the top of this screen, but I'm just going to continue down with a down arrow. So we've got the compass, and we've also got the trip computer. I'm gonna start with the trip computer. Now this is the screen where we can change what we see in these data boxes from the default ones. We can make some of the boxes slightly bigger. We can also um, add a whole extra page. So rather than scrolling down, if I go to the next page down or back to the map, we can have it where we scroll to another page of data fields. So I'm gonna show you how you do that now and we'll start with the trip computer. So trip computer on the screen, whenever you see the three white bars at the top right of a screen, that means there's an extra menu for the screen you're on. Pressing the OK button will take me into that extra menu and we can see here we've got edit data fields. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go down to edit data fields and show you that option first. So if I press OK, now I've got the little line to the side of Edit Data Fields. Press OK, and then you'll see the very top one, Elevation, is in black. And then simply moving the down arrow moves to Trip Odometer, Speed. Any one of these I want to change, I just, when it's highlighted, that's when I make the change. So let's just say I wasn't bothered about <coughs> overall average speed. So when I'm on that one there, if I press the OK button, I now get a list of all the choices. So it's just a case of scrolling up and down. You're not, some of these are gonna be straightforward what they mean. Some of them, if you're not sure, it's looking in the full manual that we've linked to on the very last uh, unit in this module, and it will give you a description of what these are. I'm just gonna go down, uh, some of them to do with navigation, so distance to destination, distance to the next point if you've put a course in your route. Estimate the time of arrival at destination. Estimate the time of arrival at the next point if you're navigating a course. Um, GPS accuracy. So loads of useful stuff here that you can put in. If I go to the one that says location, just as an example, because I've actually got a satellite signal, which I can see from these five black bars at the top left, 
it's actually giving you my current grid reference depending how you've set up your position format in the settings I've set mine as British National Grid so that's what I'm seeing in the box there it's still in black so if I'm happy with that change I would hit the back arrow and that has now changed I'm just going to change that same box again to show you another example so again if I press the OK button next to the three lines which means there's an extra menu go down to edit data fields again using the down button so I've got the white line to the side of edit data fields OK to select <coughs> And then you'll see again it highlights the one I'm on there using the down button I'm going to go down it could be any of these I want to change if I go to the one that says location press the OK button and then I could change it to something different we'll just sign something slightly different um, so it could be speed sunrise sunset could just be a clock you want the time of day now mind you, you've got the time of day along the top but there's just so much choice there of what you can put in there trip order meter some of these I'm not 100% on what the meanings are again it, it is a case sometimes of looking up in the actual um, full manual where you get a description of what each of these are so I could put compass heading what direction I'm heading on the compass press OK and it's got my 152 degrees true uh, true um, a true bearing is the way the GPS is pointing at the minute so I press the back arrow that's that now changed so that is simply how we edit one of those eight data fields that we can see while i'm on the trip computer i'm going to show you some other options that we get to from the three white lines so if i press the ok button again so we've got more options so if i go down to more options show you that one first so we can reset trip data so that'll just reset the trip computer and um, but we're looking at where we've got insert page remove page Sorry, less data I'm going to show you as well. So less data, insert, remove and restore. So restore defaults, if you watch what happens when I do that, that'll put it back to how the trip computer was when you got the unit. So it's not actually restoring everything in your unit, just the trip computer. So I'll select OK there. You'll see that one's now went back to the overall average speed where I had that changed a couple of times. I press the OK again and just show you the other options. So if I go more options again, if we go less data, I'm going to start with the one that says less data, press OK. You now see it's put two small boxes at the top and two big boxes. Now we can add another page and do the same again. Depends on, I suppose, I'm wearing reading glasses, so sometimes I do like some bigger data boxes. Now when you do this, if you now want to change what you see in these boxes, it's the same as what we did before. OK button, we move down to edit data fields, just using the down button, edit data fields. And then again, I can change what I see in the big boxes or the smaller boxes, the same as we did earlier. So the other thing I can do, if I press the OK button again and go down to more options, if I wanted to put it back to how it was, I would just go more data and that would have put it back to the eight boxes. What I can do is go insert page. You could do this even when you've got the eight boxes. Insert page. <coughs> And now it's added a whole new page with another eight boxes. And basically I can again edit what I see in these. And um, if I go more options, I could actually make this one less data. So if I go less data and you've got that option there. And then if I hit the back button now, what you'll see when I go back into tracking, we've basically got, as I go down the down button, the map, the compass, the first data box um, option for the trip computer where I changed it the less data. And then that second page where I haven't actually put anything in these boxes yet. So again, it would just be the three white bars. Edit data fields. Just give you an example. I could change one of these larger boxes by pressing OK to something to do with the location. So I get my grid reference displayed on a really big box. Press OK. And there's my grid reference. Hit the back arrow. Nice big grid reference to read. And then I could put something in this box below. If I decided I didn't want this extra page, it's as simple as while I'm on the trip computer, pressing the OK button. And if I go down to more options again at the bottom and I can say more data, sorry, not more data. I'm going to remove the page. My apologies. Remove page. OK. It's now removed that page. I'm now back to the one page. If I now want to make this back to the eight boxes, OK button. Down, it's all done from the more options, and I say more data, 
and it will put it back to the eight boxes. The only other thing we can do on here that I'm going to show you on the trip computer is that I haven't shown you. If I press the OK button again, we've got change dashboard and that means whatever we see along the very top. So at the minute it's just data boxes. So if I change the dashboard to say a large data field, we then one large box at the top and six. So it's been very flexible and universal to how you set up the device. I could change it so when I'm on the trip computer, the dashboard is something like um, stopwatch, there's options, there's a compass. So I could have a compass at the top. So lots of different options. And if at any time you want to put it back to default, you can go down to more options and you do have at the very bottom restore defaults puts the trip computer back to how it was so i hope that's useful on changing the trip computer the other thing we can do i'll just show you why we're on these tracking screens if i go to the map screen so if we had a route on here we'd have a black line to follow if i press the ok button we have the option change dashboard so that's going to give us a strip along the top of the map press ok and we can have a compass at the top, but we can actually have one large data box or four small data fields. And then, so it's two small data fields, should I say. And then if I press the OK button again, I can say edit data fields and change, as we did on the data boxes for the trip computer, what I see by pressing the OK in each of those boxes at the top. Back arrow to come back out so it's not shaded in black. If I decided I didn't want a dashboard at the top, I can go down to change dashboard on the map screen and I can put it to none and that would be no dashboard. I could again put the compass at the top, have a compass bezel at the top and I'm just going to put that now back to change dashboard back to how it was. So back to none. So that's that one done and the final one I'm going to show you when I'm on the compass screen, if I press the OK button we can actually do the same again have a dashboard at the top of the compass, which could be two small data boxes, and then we can change again from the OK, edit data fields, what's in them, or I can go for the dashboard. It could be just one large data box, data field there, and have it that way. And then again, press the OK button. You have to go to edit data fields to change what you would see in that box and then just pick from the list, so it should be, I'll just put sunrise time there, 5.52 sunrise, back arrow so it's not shaded in black, that's the compass with the dashboard now. Press the OK button, one final thing, and I'm just gonna say change dashboard, and put it back to none. So I hope you found this video useful on when you're in the tracking controls, which is the screens you would see when you're navigating a course on your unit or navigating to anything, or when you're simply doing a recording, the screens you see are the compass, the map, uh, trip computer and the map and we've shown you by using the OK button we can change the data box layouts, the size, the number of pages you see, we can actually add dashboards to the top of the map and the compass screen. So I hope you found this video useful and just showing you the flexibility of what you can change in those data fields. Just remember at the bottom of this module, the full manual is available as a download, um, as a Garmin manual, and there is a list here, the back of that manual of what all the data boxes mean and what they're showing you. And thanks for watching.